Hey guys, so today in this video, I'm gonna be coloring this drawing I have of Mac Jones in the Patriots uniform. Of course, Mac Jones was, uh, I believe, number 15th overall pick by the Patriots in the first round of his uh, recent draft about a month ago. The reason why I'm doing just the coloring this video is because I actually lost the footage of me uh, doing the drawing part of this drawing. So that kind of sucks, but uh, at least I have the, the footage for me coloring it in. So I figured I'd just talk about sort of some of my color theories and uh, the choices that I make to, to get these colors. So we'll get into it. Um, yeah, first thing I do is I try to lay out uh, a flat color that colors everything. Um, so for instance, the jersey that's blue, you know, I'll, I'll put down uh, a layer of blue over everything the areas that are red, I'll put down red over everything, his skin tone, the areas that are silver, the football, uh, everything that has color on it, you know, I'll put down a, a layer of that color. And of course, because I'm using these alcohol-based markers, I'm gonna put the lightest layer down first. So with the blue, as you can see here, it's a very light blue color. That's not the, the color that I want the majority of the jersey to look like, but that's the color that I want the highlights to look like because you know, with these markers, you can always go darker, but you can't go lighter. Uh, it's not like painting where you can just paint with white paint. So I put the lightest uh, layer down, the highlight layer. And, uh, you know, it's always, it's, there's nothing wrong with going very light. Um, that'll just make your highlights more dramatic. So that's the layer I put down first, is the highlight layer. The next layer I put down is the layer that's basically the base color. And this is what the majority of each color is gonna be. So for the jersey, for the blue jersey, this is the color that I want um, that'll most closely match what the actual jersey color is. And I'm gonna put this on basically every area. I'm gonna fill in with this color, except for where the highlight is. So uh, this particular drawing, I have it backlit because I believe, you know, that adds kind of a more dramatic effect. I think it looks pretty cool. Other than the highlights, that around the edges, I've got the whole majority of the jersey colored in with the blue. Same goes for the red areas. Other than the, the rim highlights for the backlighting, I'll color everything in there uh, red as well. And then lastly, I have a third layer for the shadows. Uh, this basically is going to go in the shadow areas, you know, like on his armpit or uh, under his chin. And also I put a, a thin layer of the shadow area uh, right where the highlight and the regular colors meet because if you ever see an, an object that's backlit, uh, basically, you know, the darkest part is right next to the highlight. It's actually not in the middle. It, it'd be right next to the highlight. That's the darkest part there. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this drawing. Um, if you do want to pick up like a, a t-shirt or a cell phone case or a poster or something like that um, with this image on it, you can check out the, uh, the online store I've got there below. Uh, the link's in the description. And uh, yeah, if you're a Patriots fan or Smack Jones fan, you want to get this image on a t-shirt, uh, definitely check that out there. I think this turned out uh, pretty cool for, for that style of image. But yeah, let me know if there's another player in the draft or just upcoming player that you'd like to see me draw. Um, definitely subscribe if you like uh, images like this. If you want any more tips on drawing or coloring or anything like that, definitely leave a comment. Let me know what you'd be interested in. And I'll see you in the next video.